On September 4th, 2021, to kick off week one of the college football season, the Tulane Green Wave would travel down to Oklahoma as they would take on the number two ranked Oklahoma Sooners. And they had a lot of stuff against them and everyone thought they were going to get destroyed by the potential national champions for this college football season. The game was originally supposed to be played at Tulane, but because of a hurricane that was moving through the area, it had to be played at OU. Everything was against Tulane, but they stayed in there and proved everybody wrong and fought toe-in-toe -toe the entire game with OU as they would end up losing 40-35. to When it was the final drive of the game, Tulane faced fourth and long after a couple of plays didn't go their way. And it seemed like it would be impossible to get a first down, especially when Pratt had pressure. But he almost had the first down and Tulane would just lose by one yard ending the game. As the game ended, there was a lot more respect for Tulane football, fighting with the number two team in the nation like that. But a lot more respect got put on the quarterback's hand, named Michael Pratt, who had a good game versus the Sooners. This is B. Kelly, back again with another banger video. In today's video, y'all, I am going to be talking about Michael Pratt's story. Before I move on with the video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, as we are on the road to 10K. Now let's get into it. To start off this story of Michael Pratt, the Tulane quarterback, I am going to bring up some background information about him before he even started playing high school football. Now, Michael Pratt never played football before he played high school football. And not only that, he was primarily a baseball player. He was a shortstop and pitcher, and the Pratt family was a baseball family. And another fun fact to add on to that, he was homeschooled until he got to high school. Once he got to Boca Raton High School as a freshman, he knew he wanted to put all of his chips into football. Michael Pratt would end up being the starting quarterback for Boca Raton High School as a sophomore and junior. As a junior, he would lead Boca Raton High School to a 5-5 record while completing 53% of his passes having 12 touchdowns and 9 interceptions while rushing for 447 yards on the ground and 3 total touchdowns as well. Despite being a 2-year starting quarterback for his varsity's football team, he would end up transferring for his senior season to powerhouse in Florida, Deerfield Beach High School. And the thing is, this was kind of confusing at the time as they already had a starting quarterback that was committed to Southern Miss. But that did not phase Michael Pratt. As he said, I wanted to go somewhere where I wasn't necessarily the guy and be surrounded by people who would make me go 110% every day so I could get better and prepare for college. He said it was a huge benefit and not only that, he won the job. In his senior season, he would lead them to a 10 and four record and an 8A class semi-final appearance, and in this season, he would complete 69% of his passes, throwing for 1,380 yards, 16 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions. On the ground, he rushed for 3 touchdowns, with 200 yards of rushing on the season. In the 2020 recruiting class, he was not the most sought-after recruit or the most highly rated recruit either. According to the 24-7 Sports Composite Rankings, he ranked as a three-star recruit, the 1,366th best player in the nation, and the 47th ranked pro-style quarterback as well. He held 15 Division I offers coming out of high school from schools such as Tulane, Toledo, Brown, Buffalo, Cornell, Dartmouth, Harvard, Florida Atlantic, and Kent State, just to name a few. When it came time for Michael Pratt to choose where his next step was in his football and academic career, he would end up choosing Tulane. Something would change Michael Pratt in how he not only viewed life and how he would play the game of football for the rest of his career. 
and this happened due to a very sad event where a wide receiver that he was very close with on his Deerfield Beach team, Bryce Gowdy, took his life on December 30th, 2019. Michael Pratt would end up getting a tattoo on his arm that says Believe and the number 7 of Bryce Gowdy's number in high school. And he would even wear the number 7 now for Tulane. As he says, what I do is really for him. Just trying to honor him, I've got a chip on my shoulder. Michael Pratt to start off his true freshman season of the 2020 college football season would originally start off as a backup to Keon Howard, but during the Southern Miss game, he would take the job from Keon Howard for the rest of the season. And he wouldn't look back as he would end up having a good season and help leading Tulane to a 6-6 six six record, including a loss to Nevada in the Idaho Famous Potato Bowl. In his freshman campaign in 2020, he played in 10 games, where he completed 55% of his passes, threw for 1,806 yards, 20 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions, while also rushing for a total of 8 touchdowns on the ground as well. Michael Pratt showed a lot of potential as a true freshman starting quarterback for the Wave, and the future was surely looking bright. Despite having a stellar true freshman campaign in 2020, a lot of people still did not know who Michael Pratt was or what he was capable of, but he would surely show that against number two, OU. Going into this game, Tulane was facing a lot of adversity. Everybody thought OU was going to kill them. They had a 30 plus point spread on the green wave. People were sleeping on Tulane, and Tulane wanted to shut up people and shock the world. This was supposed to be a home game for them, but since a hurricane affected that, they had to play this game in Norman, and Tulane wanted to show out for the state of Louisiana and potentially knock off the number two team in the nation and end their national title hope. Tulane would come out firing on all cylinders to start this game, as in their first two drives, they scored touchdowns. In the second quarter, they would go a little quiet as OU was starting to gain some ground on them. As they went into halftime, Tulane was down 37-14. to To most teams, the game would be over since they're down by 23 points. But that was just the opposite for Tulane as they would claw their way back within one possession. But unfortunately, they would end up losing this game 40 to 35. Despite the outcome and how it wasn't something that Tulane wanted because you never want to lose, Tulane got respect from the entire college football world for honestly just shocking a lot of people and almost upsetting the Sooners on their own home field. But a player that got a lot of respect after that game and recognition was none other than Tulane starting quarterback, Michael Pratt. Rightfully so as well, as he was a big reason why Tulane was in this game, and he played good. He completed 61% of his passes, threw for 296 yards, 3 touchdowns, and 0 interceptions, while also rushing for a touchdown on the ground as well. And it's not really just that. Michael Pratt was getting hit a lot during the game as he had some big hits on him and was even limping at some points. But he kept his head up and kept on playing and he really showed out. Well guys, if you guys have made it this far in the video, drop something down in the comments below of what you thought of Michael Pratt versus OU and how you think he's going to do the rest of the season along with Tulane. And before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on them post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. Be Kelly out.